So, I'm uh, with the Prisk landing team guys. Uh, please uh, introduce yourselves. Okay, so my name is Eric, Eric Miao, and uh, I'm the tech lead for the Freescale landing team. And uh, these are two of my team members. So and you're. I'm Paul Liu and the middleware engineer for Freescale landing team. Okay, right. I'm Hai Tao, and my nickname is Panda. I am a kernel engineer. All right. So tell me more about what you do in your jobs first. Um, so, so I think um, Paul will be the first. Let's start with uh, with the graphics guy. Yeah. Yes, I'm the middleware engineer. Uh, I'm maintaining the packages of uh, X drivers and the CD acceleration codex. And all the packaging, mm -hmm. all the packaging stuff, mm -hmm. and all those kernel stuff. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. And Paul is also uh, working with the Android team um, to to enable the Android RAB. All this to make uh, one board, uh, one platform to work. Let's uh, have a look at, uh, one at it. Platform, yes. Right. Let's let's have a look at the platform. Okay. Um, if you look closely, this is the um, Freescale okay. IMX53 Quick Start board. Right. Um, this is very, actually, very small. And it's very handy. Yes, uh, HDMI daughter card. So it's HDMI L2. Oh, that's uh, the the daughter card that we yeah. see, right? So um, uh, the you have a serial port, as I see, and a VGA port. Is that right? Yeah. Yes, uh, VGA port here and uh, serial port here. So and basically, it, this is a combo of um, USB port, two USB ports, and one Ethernet port. So. On USB as well. Um, two USB as well. Yes. Yeah. I mean, is the Ethernet on the USB? No, no. Oh, okay. It's not. Like the, it's what the Panda have, has. Right. Yeah. Okay. They have separate um, Ethernet controller. So. What's unique about this board compared to the other ones? I think this is small. Right. It's, um, it's, it's just about the um, right performance. It's able to do 1080p video playback, actually, so um, with hardware acceleration, so which is really good. It's really my output. And, uh, Oh, one of the unique features yes, really I was going is really SATA. All right, I, so I wanted you to, uh, to say this. <laughs> oh, SATA is really, um, really, really good, especially, um, especially um, um, I know uh, a lot of guys that they are using Quick Start Board to, to be the building server, because SATA can be connected to uh, like SATA SSD, which greatly improved the building performance, actually. Which oh, so very, very good. And how much time can you boot the, the Quick Start then? Oh, if you connect a SATA SSD, it's going to be like, um, like 10 to 20 seconds. For the whole of uh, Ubuntu, um, something like the, that. Up to Ubuntu GUI, so. That's awesome. Yeah. All right. Um, now tell me more about the kernel challenges on that board. Perhaps Haito? And, uh, <laughs> I think Haito is the right guy. Yes. Let's talk about that. So. You're gonna talk about the end um, challenge. So we, <laughs> we actually have a lot of challenge. Uh, uh, do you have your own kernel at Prescale? And uh, well, you're, you're not. A, are you a Prescale employee? Oh no no. So you, you, you guys are employed by who? Oh, we actually uh, are all working for Canonical. C Canonical. That's yeah, that's yeah. interesting. So oh, right. you work with Prescale to improve to to make to make their drivers upstream. Is that right? Yeah, we we are hired to. Okay. Uh, um, up, so upstreaming is only part of the job. So we, we actually, um, from a high level point of view, we actually have two jobs. One is to really make um, a usable and it's uh, a certain level of quality um, Ubuntu AOEV and an Android AOEV um, with a Linux infrastructure. Actually. And the second point is really to get those um, freescale specific patches, those drivers to be upstreamed. So, so you get that those patches from freescale, and you help them to to, uh, to get ready for for upstream and to align with other platforms. Right, Is that right? Right. Right. So, what what have you been working on lately um, on the kernel front, like device tree, uh, clock framework? Uh, what to, to tell tell us more? Well, mostly working on partially. Working a little bit and then study the to help upstream the USB parts on the <coughs> on the IMX53 and the IMX51 another garbage board and we'll be working on uh, some kind of the device tree support for the USB driver and 
this might be a mm -hmm. kind of infrastructure changes. But once we have implemented this part, you know, in the future, maybe the, it can be used in the IMX6 platform because they share almost the same IP design for the USB part. So you mean it's going to be simpler for Prescale to to bring its uh, words to to the kernel community and to the market as well? Oh, you so. mean the device tree? Or mm -hmm. The device tree is really a lot of help too, so that in the future maybe we can put up with one kernel and to use the board specific descri descri description files to, to, to without need to hard code a lot of the platform data in, in the source code. So it means less work for you guys. Yeah, well, eventually, there's a lot of work yeah. up front, right? Uh, less code, <laughs> yeah, but a little bit description of the hardware. Yeah. Okay. Right. So the, uh, the Freescale engineers could directly give this to you, and, and there, there, there you are. Um, Plus, of course, to, to, to get the kernel ready for everything that's needed. So, um, so, so the strategy for kernel is really we get patches from Freescale, but Freescale, they, they are like sticking with the, with the old kernel, which they um, they're making it like um, solid, they're making it stable, uh -huh, for not products. only with the, with the old kernel, uh, but the landing what the landing team is doing, we're always sticking with the latest Linux in our head, so we're always using the latest Linux kernel version, um, so let's say um, to, um, our last month's release is based on 3.1 kernel already, Fristio is, is still working on like 2.6, um, 38 kernel, okay. and we're going to um, move forward to 3.2, 3.3, 3.5, we're never stop. So, so it means that uh, community people who have your board work on the latest kernel, right, that's awesome. Yeah. So they, that's a nice way to, to allow people to contribute. Right. Well, so as long as they can get the release from the release of dot and our data, it's always up to date. Okay. Right. So I think, except me, there are also other four kernel engineers. Uh, that right. There are also four um, kernel engineers from Freescale. Unfortunately, they didn't make it this time. Uh -huh. Dexter, uh, Richard Zhu, Richard Zhao. Dexter, Zhao. Richard Zhu, and Richard Zhao, and Jason. Uh, Jason Chen, they're all very good engineers. Yeah, they work with us together mm -hmm. on the kernel upstream. Do you, do you work from home, or do you have one office where you all work? <laughs> I think we're basically working from home. Right. But mostly in the same area? Like I know that you're from Shanghai. I'm, I'm from Shanghai. I yeah, have yeah. live in Beijing. Oh, that's okay. That's not the same place. <laughs> oh, in Taipei. What about you? Taipei. Taipei. Oh, yes. Taipei. That's even more distant. Right. There, yes, we talked about that. And I'm the closest to this game's office. So I constantly visit the office like twice a week or once a week or something. Okay. And you guys meet sometimes, or is, is it enough to meet at the For Connect us, events? Yeah. Um, we actually met like last month. We had we had a free scale landing team sprint in Shanghai yeah. actually, uh, which is really really good. Um, it was really really productive. For okay. To sit together, working together. Interesting. Uh, Eric, you've been on the uh, kernel community for a long time. Uh, as far as I remember, <laughs> you were there <laughs> on the our next mailing list. What, could you tell us what you did before a little bit? Okay, so I was I was um, with Intel CHG Group, which um, which was working on the X scale um, processors. By that back at that time, it was like um, PXA two seventy and PXA three hundred. Later. CHG group was acquired by Marvell, and I've, um, I have been working for Marvell for, for like two years, and uh, um, so I, I was I was involved from very early time um, in in the in the kernel work and uh, um, working on the kernel support for X scale processors. I remember this time, yes, yeah. right. helping people in the community as well, right. on the mailing list, that was nice. And at that time, it was really, really, uh, the extra scale process was really, really popular at that time. A lot of right. platforms, um, but things have changed. <laughs> <laughs> so. so, yes, so t tell me more about what you think has changed in the, in the industry since, from that time to, to now. Okay, so I think, I think um, it's, at that time, um, the, the X-scale architecture is really like um, ahead of the time. 
it's like um, uh, fast uh, with higher CPU fr frequency. But I think the whole ARM community is like um, um, catching up very soon, and think things have changed so much. Actually, there are so many ARM um, SoC vendors, and they're all doing good, which is really, really good. I think that's very helpful for the, for the whole ecosystem. So, All right. Well, thank you for this nice conversation, and good luck with your projects. Anything <laughs> else you would like to say? That the hardware yeah. rocks, right? Yeah, <laughs> hacking. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hacking, yes. So where, where can people get the, the board? Is there a URL you would recommend? Um, so there are actually several distributors. Um, DigiKey and Mouser, you can get quick start from both of these distributors. And you can also check um, with Freescale's website uh, to get the board. Hmm. So I think there are lots of ways to get the board. And it's like $149, it's not much. It's, oh, good. It's a very suitable platform for, for development. So. You can also find references to it for the for viewers on lenaro.org slash community. Right, right. You have a, a, a page that's called uh, Low Cost Development Boards. Okay, that's really So cool. you have references where oh, to order. We also, we, have, we also have a wiki entry on wiki.lenaro.org slash um, boards slash MX53 quick start. Oh, okay. Which okay. should be a really, really well, good Full of tips start. too. Okay. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs>